Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to talk about Shop Update, May 2020. Let's see what's going on in the shop. Guys, I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. I know it's been a few, uh, few weeks, few months maybe, uh, since I put up uh, some new content on the YouTube channel. Uh, I've missed this whole pandemic that's going on worldwide. Uh, we've actually been super busy here at the shop, uh, busier than usual actually um everyone's still on board all my clients still on board to get ca uh, cars done so nothing has stopped there for us and we've been coming in here every day uh but my painters are uh working faster than usual because they need the work so if there's one tip i can give you today it is if you're working on a beetle project definitely get it out to your painter and support your local uh, body shops because they are essential and they are opened but they need the work uh, you, know, you know along with this whole pandemic that's going on and they're for the most part most of them are pretty slow right now so uh, give them some work and they'll probably get your car done in, in record time uh, but um yeah COVID-19 has been around here in New York uh, New York is considered pretty much the hot spot I am not in New York City I am above New York City uh, but actually COVID did hit very close to home here guys uh, friends and family uh, came down with COVID, uh, and it got a little hairy there for a little bit, um, a little scary uh, for uh, some family members of mine, and uh, thankfully they're recovering, and they are home, and um, things are, you know, getting back to normal, uh, so to speak. Uh, things are finally opening up, so uh, it feels good to, to get back to normal. So I do apologize if I haven't been in front of the camera. Um, I hope you guys understand. I put up some of my old reruns in the past uh, past few weeks on some of my uh, really popular videos uh, you know I, I make chapters for some of my how-to videos and uh, some people have asked you know can you just give me the whole video I don't want to keep searching for the the second chapter or third chapter or whatever so uh, I put up some videos of mine uh, that uh, are all in one long video say an hour video or two hour full video so you can take your time pause the video whenever you want come back to it uh, that sort of thing so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, but before we get going, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, I'll bring you content. I try to bring you content each and every week and on the vintage VW scene, how-to tips, how to restore your bug, tips and quickies, things like that, and even uh, give you some information about what the market is faring, which I got to say, I see, uh, guys, once again, I'm seeing prices all over the place, and I can't believe some prices of what Beatles are going for. Uh, I mean, bringatrailer.com, if you guys ever want to go there, uh, that's a really cool auction site. And you, a lot of Volkswagens cross the block there, and uh, there's some, some pretty amazing pricing going on. Uh, so do check that out. Um, and you know what? For the price of a cup of coffee, if you could throw us a quick uh, PayPal donation, there's a link below the description, uh, below the video in the description. <laughs> and uh, you could throw us a quick couple bucks uh, for a price of a cup of coffee it helps support this channel helps keep me uh, bring this content out there for you guys so uh, whatever you guys can donate uh, is so much appreciated and um, yeah let's get to it May 2020 classic VW bugs shop update let's go okay so before we get going I forgot to mention that I've been super busy also with my second YouTube channel Valone's RC hobby Yes, I'm adding more work to my my palette here. Why am I doing that? I don't know. But playing with these things makes me feel like a kid again. So if you can, go over and check my channel out. Valone's RC Hobby. I'd be much appreciated. So here we go. Let's come around this way first. And I think I've spoken about this car once before. This is that Strato Silver uh, 56 Oval Beetle that we are working on for a guy named Joe. And, uh, yeah, this is almost done, guys. And uh, we, we have the rims out, the wheels out now. They're getting painted. And we're going with actually with the two-tone rim. So two-tone for Strato Silver. Uh, would have been like a silver white on the inside of the rim. And then the outer part of the rim is actually like the Strato Silver. So uh, doing two-tone rims can be kind of a pain you know it is it is tedious to mask off how they did it in the factory i really wish there was a video out there how they did it in the factory uh, but we are working on those right now so uh this is actually a bone stock color scheme that this uh client is going for uh no 
no custom uh, look or anything like that. So interior, it would have been is the stock uh, interior. We did get the interior from Lenny Cup from West Coast Classic Restorations, which is always great material. Uh, so the navy blue with that that kind of piping would have been one of the options for Strato Silver. Uh, I'm usually one with uh, you know more of a contrast and stuff, but some people like it like this, and that's totally cool. Uh, and we went with the nice Lenny headliner as well. If you guys can see that, that came out really nice. So this car is almost done. We got the steering wheel that we're restoring. That's an earlier steering wheel, not for '56, uh, but just to get us to, to drive around and such. Now we did all we did all new heater channels in this. There was a lot of metal uh, that we had to get for this car uh, to get it back up to shape. So we are almost there. Really cool car. Strato is one of my favorite colors and it's actually uh, numbers matching engine as well which is really cool and uh, that came out really nice as well so some of the pieces for 36 horsepower engines are becoming uh, you know you got to really hunt them down and you know with this COVID-19 going on um, some of the parts suppliers I mean Wolfs Wolfsburg West just finally reopened thank God because uh, I get a lot of my stuff from them uh, but even CIP1.com, like a lot of their parts are showing um, back order. So uh, hopefully that starts to change because even things like finding these uh, fuel lines and such were, were tough to find. I had to search in separate locations and such. Um, I like to buy everything in bulk, but sometimes you gotta you got to go to other places, even like on eBay, to find some of these parts. But... Uh, but the car's coming out really nice. Got to put the 300 miles on it before we give it back to our client. But a very nice car, guys. I have the color code to this, guys, if you ever want. Uh, it is just Strato Silver. Now, just a tip on paint color. Uh, WolfsburgWest.com has a color chart. If you go to Wolfsburg and go to their color charts, they'll give you the vintage code, the old code for these beetles. And then what you do is you grab that code go into Google, put the code in, the name and the color, and then put a space and type in PPG. When you type in PPG, PPG is the paint company that supplies paint to most body shops, and a uh, website will come up to give you a, a cross-reference code. For the most part, the codes work. Uh, sometimes they don't, so you might have to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, but uh, there is a cross-reference code for Strato Silver and almost all the Beetle colors. So uh, that is another tip for you guys. And what you see here, this is our good friend Bernie and also a client of mine that I had uh, this Beetle restored for him. What is this, a 56, 57? I forget. 57 Beetle. <laughs> Very close to 56. Uh, Ragtop Oval Beetle painted in a beautiful gold metallic. Painted up the rims jet black and put the beauty rims on, the nice wide white wall tires. Um, and then we got our kit here from SoFine, which is a really nice car, nice kit, nice color contrast. Um, of course, my beige tweed headliner came in here, okay, looking nice. So Bernie is putting this car for sale, guys. So if anybody wants a Valone bug, a build a bug that I did, um, you could probably get it for less and you get it now as opposed to waiting over two years for a restoration uh, and paying way more so you like this color scheme you like this car give me a shout I'm gonna actually be putting it up for sale very soon so uh, be on the lookout for that and you see here up on the lift is another build a bug project this is uh, Christina's 66 ruby red convertible Body off restoration. We're actually working on the chassis now. Chassis out back. Uh, this car was all painted in and out. And we're finally getting to her car, getting to assembly. It's been painted for quite some time now. Uh, but we're finally getting to it, and uh, she should be a beauty. Um, any of these convertibles, 67 and earlier convertibles, uh, good value, guys. They're, uh, they keep appreciating, going up and up every year. They trickle up every year, which is really nice. So if you ever get your hands on a 67 or an earlier convertible, do get your hands on it, do it right, and uh, you got a good investment on your hands. So uh, be on the lookout for Christina's 66 convertible Build-A-Bug project. 
So coming around on this end of the shop, uh, this car looks familiar to you guys, I hope, is my good friend Joe's 1954 three-fold oval window ragtop beetle. Restored for the, uh, this car for Joe a few years ago now. And uh, he's uh, planted the car here and allowed me to drive it this season because I don't have anything of my own this year. <laughs> Joe's got a few classics of his own, so... Uh, he offered to say, hey, you know, you need a car to drive around this year to go to shows, which none of the shows are really open right now or just yet. Hopefully they open up soon. Uh, I at least have something to uh, to take to shows and it's something of my own uh, that I built. And so one of my own projects, our own build a bugs. Uh, so just a wonderful car, uh, wonderful friend. Guys, I got to say many of the people that I built cars for uh, I've become good friends with and it's uh i'm very grateful and very thankful that i've come across these people some of the most interesting people that i've ever come across in my life uh and it's just very really really rare to come across some of my friends that i have and uh them their friends their mentors i i learned from them and uh you know it's uh, really nice that someone like joe could allow me to drive around in this beauty and uh, actually show off my work so uh, really, really nice. 54 three-fold oval window ragtop. Guys, becoming harder and harder to find. Uh, I think I hit a period a few years ago where we were finding them, you know, at least, you know, once or twice a year. And now it's just coming down to maybe I'm coming across one every couple years or every three or four years. You know, it's just becoming more and more rare to find an intact, unhacked up three-fold uh, oval ragtop 54. You know, it just got a beautiful interior. It's got the threefold here. It's got the semaphores right there. And of course, these heart uh, tail lights, which everybody, uh, this is what everyone wants. This is the gold of a uh, beetle here. Um, but yeah, tough to find. So I'm very thankful that Joe can uh, let me drive this this year. And coming over here is a 1967. Uh, bone stock white beetle this is actually a find a bug i still have that find a bug program open guys so if you guys want find a bugs um you don't have the budget for a full restoration like joe's car um and you want something uh, you know that's that's more affordable and you don't want to wait the two years i can find you a bug like this and uh, this is a bug that's actually going to be heading out to california to a guy named john d and um yeah i found this car it was actually through a friend again and he said chris i'm looking to sell a 67 beetle that i have and he lived in new york and he's like hey you know see what you could do and sure enough someone called me saying hey i'm looking for something 67 66 what could you get me and uh came across this car so uh beautiful car i mean white car clean very clean paint stance is great and so what we're doing for john john wants to change the interior he wants to get rid of the black interior that we have in here and he's going to go with something of his own so uh we got the interior kit coming in from so fine so that's another option for you guys a find a bug not a build a bug where i can actually find you the car to your needs okay and on this end of the shop is another build a bug project for a great guy named dave um out of south dakota uh, he sent me two cars, and uh, we're working on the two right now. Here's a 57 oval that he sent me. This one went to the body shop and came back in really some fast timing. Again, like I said, the body shops are pretty slow these days, so if you can get some work out to them and support them, uh, that would be excellent. And again, he went with Evergreen Metallic, same color as Joe's uh, uh, 54 oval that I showed you before. Guys, this is probably the fourth or fifth time. That I've done this color, people seem to love it. So, um, yeah, if anyone needs the color code, please let me know. I can always get you the color code for this. Um, really striking color, it looks beautiful. And uh, we are also working on a 55 oval three fold rag top for Dave. Uh, so that's also at the body shop. And uh, yeah, this one's coming down the pike too. Paint job came out beautiful. Check it out really really nice 57 oval guys any of these 50s beetles just you can't beat them i mean they're just they're beautiful to put to you know to, to work on and they, they come out looking great in the end 
you know, and their values are just, they're going up. So it's, it's a really good investment. So the other two projects we're also working on are Landon's 1958 sedan that's going back to the original Glacier Blue. What's really cool about that car is that car has been in this guy's family since 1958. It was his grandfather's car. So that's a really cool story, really cool project that we're working on. And that's a car uh, that's at a body shop right up the street over here. And they're doing excellent work with the sheet metal that I got out of Europe. Uh, so if you remember the... Um, uh, the video I put up on sheet metal parts that I get from Wolf Parts, uh, Wolf Parts, and RestorationPanels.com. Check out those two websites, and you see the kind of sheet metal that they're offering for for uh, '50s Beetles. Uh, really, really dead on. The the, the craftsmanship is is just amazing. So, uh, and then the other car we're also working on is a '62 Ragtop uh, that's out at the body shop up the street, another shop, and uh, that's for Anna Kay. And that car came out of California. So got lots going on and, you know, still plenty of projects to, to, to work on. And I still even have personal projects of mine that I haven't even touched yet. Uh, so I'm going to have to be dipping into maybe my 54 convertible soon or my 66 convertible uh, that I have sitting here uh, waiting to get, you know, going to the body shop. So, uh, guys, I hope you liked that video. I know it's been a long time. Chris from ClassicVWBugs.com, and I will see you next time. Uh -huh.